Hi, this is Annie Grace and I am answering readers questions and today I have a question which is pretty simple. It's just simply how do I maintain my determination to stay alcohol free when the horrors of drinking fade and you know we actually kick off the alcohol experiment, which you can always join for free at alcoholexperiment.com. It is a, a free 30 day sort of challenge experiment. Just dip a toe, see if an alcohol free lifestyle is right for you and what makes sense for you. But anyway, we kick it off with two big lists. And I recommend that everybody make these two lists. So the first list is the reasons, all the reasons that you drink alcohol. And for your question, you might've already you know, needed to make this list or already done this work and that's totally fine, but it's all the reasons that you drink alcohol because the reasons that we give ourselves that we drink are the reasons that we stay stuck. And so we make a list of the re all the reasons we drink it. In fact, this was my journey and my story is I started my entire journey by making this list of all of the reasons that I drank alcohol. And this list was simply, you know, it was to relax, it was to have more fun, it was because it made me a better salesperson, it was because it made me better at my job, like I had all of these reasons, and I actually went around and asked a lot of other people, what are all the reasons that they drink alcohol, and I took those things, and then I started going through the science and methodically saying, is this true, is this not true, what is the truth here, according to science, and it was so eye-opening, and that is the process that I take you through in the alcohol experiment, which again is always available on the app store called Alcohol Experiment or at alcoholexperiment.com. And that process is enlightening, it's amazing, and it's so inspiring because you really end up digging into all the reasons you drink. Now, when you have that, the question of course is, how do I maintain determination when all of the horrors of drinking fade? Is that determination doesn't just come from avoiding pain, but it also comes from understanding the truth, right? It comes from understanding, well, okay, so, I might not remember how it felt to wake up with a hangover. It's really hard to remember how nausea felt, feels if you don't have it or how a headache feels if you don't have a headache at the moment. But I can look around my life and be like, okay, why do I want to drink right now? What is on my list? And if I have that list, okay, well, I want to drink because I'm stressed. And I've learned that, okay, well, alcohol actually releases cortisol in the body. It actually triggers my stress response. It actually is going to make me more stressed to drink alcohol than before. Then I look at my list and I'm, I'm no longer triggered. So that's the first list that we make in the alcohol experiment. The second list we make is what is everything that you are looking forward to? What are all the reasons that you want to change your relationship with alcohol. And this list is, I think, the list that you wanna keep at hand for when all of the horrors fade. Now, we human beings, we change in two ways. We change towards pleasure or we change away from pain. And when you're looking at all of the horrors and when they fade, you're not feeling like you're gonna have any more motivation. That tells me that you are mainly changing to avoid pain. And that's not a bad thing. That is so true for so many people. Often pain is much more motivational in the short term than you know moving towards pleasure. Avoiding pain, we will do so much to avoid pain as human beings, but it doesn't last for exactly what you say in your question is that the horrors fade over time. And when the horrors fade over time, our motivation fades. And so in order to combat that, you need to create an entire list of whys. What is the reason why you want to do this? And that I would highly recommend being a lot of the things of moving toward the things you want in your life. You know, how can you move toward being in better shape? You know, like the vanity alone is such a compelling reason. My skin looks better. My eyes are clearer. My teeth are whiter. My hair is thicker. Like so many things have happened for me physically. I look younger now at 42, almost 43 than I did when I was you know, in my thirties and heavily drinking because alcohol took such a toll. So that's moving toward pleasure, right? I am physically more capable of doing things. That's moving towards pleasure. I also trust myself so much more than I used to trust myself because I've made commitments to myself. And instead of when I was in my drinking cycle of making and breaking promises, I keep those commitments. And so make that list for yourself of all the reasons that you want to make this change in your life. And then you'll not only have the moving away from the horror motivation, which will fade, but you'll also have the much more lasting and much more powerful motivation of moving toward pleasure.
and toward what you really want in your life. And that is the things that last and that sustained. And if you do that in addition to the list of all the reasons you drink, and if you've gone through something like the alcohol experiment, we've combated all those reasons and you've shown yourself definitively through science that those things don't actually hold up. They're not actually true. You are in a beautiful place because all of that desire is going to evaporate because you're going to see, well, this drink that I've poured to relieve my stress, it's not actually going to relieve my stress. So why even drink it in the first place? And that is how I believe to maintain your motivation. So what a great question. Thank you so much for asking and best of luck. And again, if you want to join us for the free, always free alcohol experiment, it is available at alcoholexperiment.com.